Hello everybody, Chaos Archives here, and I want to let people know that before I do start this video, I want to tell you guys that I am not a Christian, I am not a Muslim, I am not um, agnostic, I, my religion is really, uh, it's hard to explain, oh I guess it's not really hard to explain, um, I am a Norse pagan. There. That's it. I had a friend of mine who was a Greek pagan and I was a Norse pagan, so kind of had kind of th things like that. Okay. So I usually end up telling people that I'm an atheist. It makes sense to me, but fucking gnats in my recording. Um Today's video is I'm just gonna st start saying that and this is my take on the subject i don't usually do a lot of politics especially geopolitics i don't do a lot of but i have been following the um uh palestine israel uh war whatever you want to call it it's it's a war it really is it's more of a religious war is what it is Gaza wants Israel's land. They want to kick the Israelites out so they can um, take over and it just be all Muslim. They want all of it to be Muslim land. They do not want the religious Jews, the Zionists, as they like to call them. Um, they want them out. That's what they want. They want the Zionists out. I hate saying it that way, but they, that's what they want. Um, I I did choose a side for this conflict, and I chose Israel. Now, why did I choose Israel? Well, first of all, I cannot stand religion as a whole. And give me a second. I do not believe that religion should be as high on the list of everything that everybody has. It's like, oh, God comes first, or Jesus first, Jesus this, God this, Jesus this, God this. And it gets annoying. It really does. So whenever I see it and it's put at the forefront of something, it's something that I am a com I am completely against, right? But this whole thing is a conflict. It is a physical conflict going on between Gaza slash Palestine, Hamas, and Israel. I chose Israel as who I'm supporting in this. It is mostly moral standpoint. Um... Because they were attacked first. Israel was attacked first. Um, I know this war has been going on for a very long time. Longer than I've been alive. Longer than most of us have been alive. This has been going on for damn centuries, I think. Uh, and recently there has been some... It's been quiet in the world. It has been quiet in the world. And Gaza fucked up, broke the ceasefire that they had originally, and attacked a hospital. Gaza attacked a hospital. It was Gaza. It was Hamas, who is being funded by Iran. Hamas is being funded by Iran and Iraq. You got the Houthis and the you got the Houthis. You've got the uh, Hezbollah. You've got uh, Hamas, and there's just there's just so much right now going on in the world that there are people in college campuses right now that are just 
it, it's like they're trying to recruit people. And you see the brainwashing happening, and you see it all the time. And this is why I'm a big supporter of homeschooling. I was homeschooled. Um, I was also in a, a trade school, so I did not go to college. I did not even really go to high school. Uh, I was homeschooled. So I was not indoctrinated like a lot of people are nowadays. And that's what this is. This is indoctrination. This is indoctrination through LGBTQIA, whatever, how many letters, numbers, however, how many it is now. Because it changes. It changes all the time. Uh, so I'm just going to say LGBT. Um, I know a lot of my friends are LGBT in some form or another. And this is nothing against my friends who are. Uh, because you guys chose that path on your own. I don't believe any of you guys were indoctrinated into it at a young age. Um, but a lot of people were. And a lot of people are nowadays. You do see it a lot on TikTok. You see it a lot on YouTube. You see it a lot in everywhere. You see it everywhere now. You see it a lot on Twitter or X now. It's just a bunch of ridiculous things happening all at once. And you never quite can jot it all down unless you go way, 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 way back and then come all the way forward. So my point on this is I'm so sick and tired of these pro terrorism this pro-terrorism that we've had now and it's being in the disc it's pro-terrorism disguised as activism remember when activism used to be something good right you used to do good things you used to get people to see your side of it right you used to get people to understand what you're going through what your cause is and now you got people who are doing the dumbest fucking things possible. Uh, a couple of months ago, there was a group of students, I can't remember where, uh, they were taking down missing persons posters. And, and it baffles me that they're like, oh, it's propaganda. It's propaganda. It's, it's propaganda. There's no missing persons. Yes, actually there is. There's quite a lot. And fucking gnats, man. I'm so tired of these fucking things. And it's so tiresome to hear. And then another reason that I'm against, uh, you know, Palestine and all this, the fact that they are against women the way that they are, they're just disgusting towards women and children, too. They are disgusting towards them. So, if you guys are okay with this type of content, um, if not, then I'm not going to do this kind of content. I'll just keep to my own random bullshit that I've been doing. Uh, playing Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon. I might not even get Pokemon back on or Pokemon TCG online again. Uh, I haven't done that in a while. But I did choose a side. I chose Israel in this one. Because I've never had a problem with Jewish... Okay. ADHD moment here. Uh, I have never had a problem with Jewish people ever in my life. Jewish people have been one group of people that have been the coolest with me. They have been the nicest people... They have been the kindest people that I've ever come into contact with. They have been just amazing people, right? Whenever I meet a Christian, they're always like, well, you need to believe in God. You're not a real conservative. You're not a real this. You're not this. Fuck you. I have my own values. I have my own belief systems. I have my own thing going. And I don't believe that people should be indoctrinated to, into anything. Let people choose their own path. That's what I'm saying. 
uh, I don't believe that this should be uh, I don't even think this war should even happen but this war has been going on for a very long time longer than I've been around longer than most of us have been around and if you're into activism cool I, that's cool you can be into activism but modern activism is just something I cannot get behind at all I cannot get behind this new wave of activists that just do everything possible to not be supported like stopping traffic or putting down murals on the ground and then getting mad when people walk over it or people who put themselves into like the vegan activists who put themselves in cement and just being stupid or throwing uh, tomato soup on paintings or defacing statues and shit like that it just gets so old you know what I mean it, it gets old all the time politics is not my forte I will admit um, this is my first time talking about this kind of thing. If you want more of it, I can bungle it down into one set, a uh, one setting, and talk about one thing instead of just, you know, having my ADHD moment and just, you know, blast, you know, going off the rails. I don't like going off the rails. But um, if you guys like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section. Peace out, y'all.